Hello everyone, today I'm going to be solving through section 1.3 of geometry. So let's uh, begin. So question one, they're asking, what's the value of, of angle X? So in order to find angle X, just need, we need to find the value of this angle. We know that this angle is equals to 70 degrees. And we know that 130 and angle AB, sorry, angle B gives us 180 degrees, right? So this is 50 degrees. So now we want to find what's angle X. So we <clears throat> simply add up 70, 50, 120, and it's 180 minus 120. That gives you 60 degrees. So X equals 60. Okay, here we studied theorems related to these questions. So we know that this angle is half the measure of 130 plus x. So the measure of this is equals to 180 minus 70 gives you 110. Okay, and 110 is equals to half the measure of 130 plus x. Bring this to this side, uh, that becomes 220, 220 equals 130 plus x, and minus 130 becomes x equals 90, okay? Here, what's the value of x? We know that 45 degrees equals to half the measure of 105 minus x, right? The measure of major arc minus the me measure of minor arc. So if we just do that, it's 90 equals 105 minus x. Bring this to this side, so that is 90 minus 105 gives you negative 15 equals negative x and that's basically x equals 15 so you got our answer it's 15 now question four um, we have okay they're asking what's the value of this angle right here x in degrees so a is a tangent or you can say this line is a tangent to the circle at point A and it's 55 degrees so we know that arc AB is equals to 50 uh, sorry uh, 110 degrees right the double twice the measure of the arc here okay and we know that 75 this angle intercepts arc DA right so the measure of arc DA or I'd say major arc DA is 75 times 2 gives you 150 and now the arc we are, we're left with is arc DB so we need to find the measure of arc DB so we just simply add up we get 260 if you add up these both and then you subtract this from 360 the total measure and you get 100 Okay. Arc DB equals 100 degrees. Right? And we know that this angle is now equals half the measure of this arc, so 50. Now, we know that these two angles form a linear pair, so X is equals to 180 minus 50 gives us 130. Okay, so here line L is tangent to the circle at A. 
75. So we're going to find the measure of x. Measure of arc AB. We know that the measure of arc AB is 75 times 2, and that gives us 150. And x is the intersecting angle, so it will be half, <clears throat> half of 150. So again, it's just 75 degrees. Here, what we have to do is um, um, find the value of x here. So this is an isosceles triangle. So it's 180 minus, subtract 48 from 180. That gives us, that gives us 132. And you divide that by 2 to get 66 degrees, right? These two angles are supposed to be equal. So, measure of angle B is 66 degrees. So is this, right? So if we find that measure of angle B is 66, we know that measure of arc AG is twice the measure of angle B. So that is 66 times 2 gives us 132. So the measure of arc AG, 132. And the measure of X here is going to be half of 132. It's again 66. Because it's a tangent and the angle formed by tangent to a circle is half the measure of the intercepted arc. So Where's the value of Y? So in order to find what's y, we need to find the value of x in degrees. So that's half of 114. So what's half of 114? That gives you 57 degrees here. And now just need to simply find out what's the measure of angle B. So it's 180 minus 57 plus 64, right? So it's 180 minus 121. That gives us 59 degrees. So if we have 59 degrees for angle B, we know that this arc, the measure of this arc is twice that of this angle. So it's 59 times 2, which is 118. Now in section 1.3 we studied a few theorems and this this was part of it that we know that opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral uh, when you add them up you, uh, it equals 180 degrees so they're essentially supplementary so uh, just write it down x plus y plus 62 equals 180 and here y we just we don't need to write anything y is 180 minus 70 so y equals 110 right so we just put this value in this equation x plus <coughs> 110 plus 62 equals 180 so if you add up 110 and 62 you get 172 And x is equals to 8, right? So the value of x is 8. Now, in question number 9, they're asking the measure of arc x, w, right? So we need to figure out what the measure of this is. Measure of angle v. Now we know that this arc has originates from the endpoints of a diameter. So we know that this is equals to 90 degrees. All right. So we just add 90, 50, 140. Angle V is equals to 40 degrees. 
okay? And then we can find out the value of xv, sorry, xw, and that is 80, all right? Here, what they're asking what's the value of this angle. So here, again, it's easy. The value of this arc is 44 times 2, gives us 88 degrees. And this is the intercepting angle. So this is half the measure of 82, uh, 88, I guess 44. Okay, we're almost there. Asking the value of y in this question. So th they've given us that e, that the angle formed by tangent L and AG is 68 degrees. So find the measure of AG. AG is twice 68. So what's twice 68? That's again 136 degrees. Okay. Um... And we can find the measure of angle B, which is, again, 136 divided by 2, right? That gives you, again, 68 degrees. So we found that the measure of angle B is 68. And the measure of angle G, or AGB, this one, is also 68 degrees, right? So if you add up 68 and 68, we have 136. Then we subtract that from 180. We get 44 here, right? 180 minus 136, which is the addition of these two. So the measure of arc BG equals 88, twice the length of the intercepted arc. So this question is easy. We know that these two form a linear pair, so this is 110 degrees. Then you add 25, and you subtract that from 180, right? 135, and you get 45, right? You get 45, so the value of this, angle PQT equals 45 degrees and the measure of the arc equals 45 times 2 that gives you 90 here we need to do this apply the same formula x the measure of x equals half the measure of 64 minus 20 <clears throat> that gives us 44 half 44 equals 22 and here we know that these form a linear pair so the measure of this angle 70 this angle 50 so if we add up um, uh, so this angle is 60 and then you simply subtract and you get 120 as your answer x is equals 120 degrees all right thank you guys